When the snows fall and the white winds blow, the lone wolf dies, but the pack survives. Hey everybody, a whole bunch of Comic-Con news dropped today, so let's break it down. All the stuff they're bringing, the footage they'll show off, because it'll be during the middle of Season 7. If you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe to get everything. Make sure you click that bell to enable alerts so you don't miss any of the videos. There's giveaway stuff happening at the end of the video, too. So, big Comic-Con news is they just announced their panel. I was actually planning on doing a Gendry video, so I'll still be doing that, but this is just as cool. Because the thing that's happening this year is they announce the people they're bringing, but because it's happening during the show's run, like literally, you'll have Game of Thrones panel on Friday night during Comic-Con, then that next Sunday on the 23rd, we'll get episode 2. So because they typically bring footage depending on what part of the cycle of production they're in, they showed off cast previews in the past when they were bringing on new big characters like Duran Martell, may he rest in peace. Really, really excited to be playing Duran Martell. You don't know your own people. They're disgust for you. <coughs> Elia Martel, raped and murdered, and you did nothing. Oberyn Martel, butchered, and you did nothing. You're not a Dornish man. You're not our prince. Then they showed off the season 7 production preview because they hadn't started production yet. This year, they can actually show off genuine footage from advanced episodes. So if they don't screen an episode outright, they'll have footage to show off from later in the season. But once we're in the season, they release the typical trailers for advanced episodes. So there'll be all kinds of footage dropping during that week. So it is going to be weird this year. But the people they're actually bringing to the panel are Theon Greyjoy, Grey Worm, Samwell, Brienne, Ser Davos, Missandei, Bran Stark, Varys, and Sansa. They also announced that there's a special guest from Westeros moderating the panel, like it's supposed to be a celebrity guest appearance. So if it's not an actor from the show, I'm guessing that it's George R. R. Martin, and they pulled some crazy magic to pull him away from Winds of Winter. So like the promo said, the panel is going to be 1.30 p.m. Friday in Hall H. If you're not in there, I'm totally going to do a video for whatever it is they do. And that's in addition to all the normal videos I'd be doing during the week anyway during the season. So there'll be episode videos, trailer videos, Q&As, bonus videos. There'll be all kinds of Game of Thrones that week. It's really fun when conventions happen in the middle of a run for something that I do videos for. It's just a really cool opportunity to do some fun stuff. And they do have like a special Winter Is Here experience that you can go do outside of Comic-Con. If you remember that Shut the Door promo that I did a video for, there was a bunch of new footage and behind the scenes stuff in it. Open the door. Do you want to see something you've never seen before? It'll be a physical, interactive experience that you can go walk around in. They do something like that every year. Like a couple seasons ago, they did the Hall of Faces before Arya learned about the Hall of Faces in that season. So there's a whole bunch of HBO stuff happening. They have a Westworld panel that's also going to be happening on Saturday that I might do a video for too. But the really cool thing lately is they've been doing a bunch of interviews with the cast, the producers, the crew, and they revealed a whole bunch about what's happening in this scene here. They didn't say outright, but you can connect the dots. So they talk about this big action set piece where they were blowing both snow and fire in Daenerys' face while she was filming on the back of Drogon. But they filmed it in a big Belfast quarry that they flattened out. It had 11,000 square meters of concrete painted over with camouflage. It took about six months to set up. So it definitely implies that there's this big action set piece with the Army of the Dead, Jon Snow, Beric, and the rest of his band here. But the fact that they filmed Daenerys scenes there while they were blowing snow, like they said, blowing snow in her face then it's pretty safe to say that there's going to be some dragons versus White Walker action towards the end of the season. Now, no guess as to what actual episode this takes place during. It could be episode 6, it could be episode 7, but there's a lot of theories that they actually bring this box back to the dragon pit. So this scene here is back in King's Landing. There's a lot of theories about who this could be because the sun is obscuring their face. It could be the Hound, it could be Brawn, because a lot of people are still hoping for Clegane Bull. But if they actually do get their hands on a White Walker and bring it back in this giant box here for the Dragon Pit and Cersei and everyone to see, 
then that implies that they're structuring the season the way they have done in the past, where even though you end the season on a holy crap moment, you typically have your big hard home or Battle of the Bastards episode before the last episode. But a lot of that is based on the Times reporter looking at a big scene that's centered around Daenerys' character where all this stuff is happening, where she's getting all this snow and fire blown in her face. They weren't allowed to reveal any big details about the scene, but you can put two and two together where even though winter has come, there's only a couple places in Westeros where you'd have like giant gobs of snow smacking you in the face. That would have to be north of the wall because it's snowing south of the wall, but it'd be very light even if she were really high up in the atmosphere. So let me know in the comments, what do you think is going to happen with Daenerys when she takes Drogon up north? I mean, it's got to be some huge save for Jon Snow because they look like they're all going to die in this scene here. But obviously you have the scene of Jon Snow riding off on his horse. Beric and Thoros are really huge characters, but who I definitely think are going to die. And they also made it sound like they're killing Tormund this season because people were talking about the Brienne relationship. Like, oh, wouldn't it be great if they did something with that? And Dan and Dave both responded with, oh, you know, it's time for one of them to die. And if you have to pick between Tormund and Brienne about who they would kill first, it just have to be Tormund. So everybody speculate on what's going to happen to Tormund this season, what's going on with this big White Walker battle. But if you're asking about new trailers dropping, yes, there will be more footage before the season starts. They always have three or four big trailers. We've only gotten two so far. So in the next couple weeks, they'll drop more footage. There'll be more promos. And what I'll do, because there's so much other Comic-Con news to get through, and there's Rick and Morty tonight, is I'll post my Gendry video in another day or two when I get a little bit more time. But leave all your video requests in the comments below. Congratulations to David. You're the latest giveaway winner. Please private message me on the back end of my channel so I can get your contact details. You can click here for my Azor High Lightbringer video, and you can click here to rewatch the trailers again. Thank you so much for watching. Everybody stay awesome. I'll see you guys tonight.